Hello again everybody, Trekworks here with you. Well, it's Saturday and I'm uh, going to be putting a lot of time in on the Reliant model this afternoon, so I'm going to give you kind of a follow-along update as I go here. What, I'm, what I've got accomplished uh, so far now is I've, I've gone in and I've finished up doing all my internal lighting on the saucer area. I've got the Modeler's Grand Double Density LED Tape installed at the front of the saucer, and I've done that in individual sections so that the forward window ports are now all lit up really nice and all the strobe and navigation lighting is done and um, I'm continuing to work on wiring here I've got power running out of the saucer that I'm going to be using to hook up for power on the warp nacelles and the lighting that are on those so let me switch the camera to macro view here and I'll come back and show you uh, some of the work I'm doing on these little parts to get them ready for that okay as you can see on the side here I've gone in and drilled holes to run my power outside to the uh, to the warp nacelles and uh, I've had to do a little bit of modification on these parts. If you can see down in there I've, I've had to uh, do a little bit of grinding to get some clearance for my wiring to go through and uh, notch these out on the bottom so the wiring can pass through there into the warp nacelle itself. And on the photon launcher, the roll bar assembly as I call it, I've had to go, go in and trench these parts out with my Dremel tool so the wire will pass through there. And that's where that really nice thin magnet wire is going to come in really handy for this. It's a really tight fit. Now the plan is, as you can see, I've got a couple sets of wires running here. I've got uh, one set of wires that, that's going to power up the lighting effects for the nacelle, and that's the, uh, the little highlights for the registry numbers that are on there uh, from the Raytheon lighting that I'm going to do for that, and the floodlights at the front, which will come on uh, whenever I power the model up as far as the internal lighting goes. And then the separate set of wires here will power up the, uh, uh, the blue double density LED tape that I'm going to install in the nacelle for the flux chiller grill so I can turn that off and on separately to give the warp effect whether I want it off or on. And then there'll be another set of wires that I run through that'll run back to the strobe light at the rear of the nacelle that'll come on whenever I power the model up as well. That'll just blink whenever the navigation lights are on. And then uh, on the other side here I'm basically doing the same thing and there'll be a third wire that runs up out of there to the top through the roll bar to power up the uh, strobe at the top of that and another set that powers up the red LEDs that are going to go in for the photon launcher and I'll just give you kind of an up close view of the, the wiring that's inside of here. Now I'll go and tidy all this up and hot glue it all down before I seal it but uh, hopefully by this afternoon I'll have this all sealed up and a uh, major part of it will be done and then I'll be doing the work on the warp nacelles here, I got my flux chiller grills in from Don's Light and Magic, and uh, I've got to paint the inside of these, get them ready, and I'm going to be putting some tape in here to block these little areas off where I'm going to be doing that Raytheon lighting, so it'll highlight those uh, registry numbers here and light them up, kind of halo effect in the background. That'll look kind of nice, and then I've got to set my LED in the back here, my strobe for uh, the flasher at the rear, and then drill my holes at the front here for the floodlights that are going to go in, and get everything mounted. So. I'll come back uh, in a few minutes and I'll show you some more progress. Well here we are with some more progress. I wanted to show you guys the work that I did on uh, the inside of the warp nacelles here. As you can see I've gone and painted them all black on the inside to block the light and I've mounted all my LEDs in there. I have the strobe at the back, I have the lighting for the uh, what will be the registry number here on the back side. Uh, I basically cut out these little shapes here and taped that uh, so when the model is lit up you're going to see a nice kind of halo effect that looks like uh, uh, the Reliant head. Uh, I just used some pieces of sprue in here to help support my work and I'll be tying all this together and wiring it and the wiring will come down through the pylon and attach all of it. Um, I use this hot glue gun to install everything here. It's, if you don't have one of these get yourself one of these. Uh, it's around nine dollars with the glue included at the hobby store and uh, I basically use that to put this whole assembly together in here and it dries almost instantly as soon as you're done uh, pushing the glue in there and you just kind of wait a couple seconds I mean it's all it's keeping everything exactly where I want it I want the bulb to be kind of floating above the uh, so it's kind of right in the middle when I put the other nacelle on top of it uh, the other half I should say I'll show you this real quick that uh, if you look inside here, it'll it'll basically be right in the middle, so it's going to light even on both sides of the nacelle. I've got the little uh, my little spotlight uh, 
parts done here at the front and I'll be putting that micro crystal clear in those and this LED that I've got at the front here will both light this area here and light these these up very nicely so quite a bit more done there uh, I've got my flex chiller grills now and I've got the nacelles all painted up so what I'm going to do is glue those in now and uh, Go ahead and put my uh, blue LED tape in here and do a first test lighting of this, and I'll come back and show you how that's going to look. Uh, and we'll see how uh, much how much diffusion I'm going to need on this lens, or whether those lights are going to shine through there and give me individual bright spots. But we'll find out in just a little bit. I'll be back with that here in a little while. Well, here's the nacelle lit up with the uh, the smooth blue LED tape, and I'm just doing a little test here to see what kind of uh, look I'm going to get with this grill in place and it's looking like I'm going to get a lot of individual points of light coming through there and it's going to take a lot of uh, light diffusion uh, on the back side of this uh, this grill to get to get rid of that to the to the point where I think if I diffuse it so much it's it's gonna take a take away a lot of the lighting effect for it so plan B here is I'm going to try to install some blue LEDs uh, pointing this way and maybe with a, with a piece of uh, I'll take a piece of styrene and mount it here like a little bracket and I'll put a reflector on that a piece of silver tape and uh, point this LED towards the rear and see if I can bounce that light and with one 10 millimeter blue LED if I can get that to um, if I can get that to light up evenly with that I'm going to try that I'll come back here and show you what that looks like for a comparison in just a second Okay, back from a few minutes of experimenting around here, and what I've come up with is, uh, I decided I am going to go with these, uh, with the LED tape, the blue LED tape, and what I had to do basically is, with these, uh, flux chiller grills, I had to go in and, uh, do a lot of diffusion, and I was worried about how much I would have to do to where they wouldn't light up very well anymore, and, uh, I tried it with some frosted clear first, and it, it really didn't have much of an effect, so, I started spraying real thin layers of white, just straight white with my uh, with my airbrush, and just kept <clears throat> adding layer upon layer until I got it to where I can put it on there now, and you won't see the um, you're not seeing the individual points of light anymore. I'm hoping that this is showing up decent decent for you here, but uh, in person this thing looks totally smooth. It's a it's a really deep blue color. I can turn out the light here and uh, still lighting up pretty bright so I think I could maybe even put one more coat of the white in there to get it to really be bright there at the center and kind of tail off at the tail end here like it's supposed to. Now I've got to come in and paint my little black edge in there too to kind of make that little curve shape and cover that up but uh, and what I did is I, uh, these are these pieces are actually kind of almost like little flexible rubber pieces and uh, one of the things that you often run into when you're starting to handle the model after you put these in if you just use regular CA glue or even regular model glue it might be a little brittle and if you're just handling it and things like that you could actually push your you know push this lens out of there actually actually after you've got the model assembled so that's not a good thing so I went in and I uh, I hot glued all this and I've used, like I said, I've used the hot glue all over on the inside of this, but I hot glued that in there, and uh, man, it's just strong as a rock. It'll never get pushed out of there. Um, so, yeah, that's looking pretty good. I think I might just go back, and I can still see through the camera here. I can see uh, just a little bit of, uh, you know, bright spots coming through there still. So I think what I'm going to do is go in there and um, hit this with one more coat of white, and that'll smooth that out. And I'm still getting... Oops, I just knocked my connection loose here. I just got this all kind of cobbled up here right now. But, uh, yeah, uh, I think I'll do one more coat of light white across that, and that should even that out. And I'm, I'm lighting up plenty bright here. As I said, in person, it's a real nice deep blue color. I'm not seeing the white uh, kind of washout look in the middle there that you're seeing on the camera. But, uh, anyway, that solved that problem. And so now I'll be able to finish up... Uh, getting these nacelles all wired and, and closed up and ready for paint detail. I've got to do my little painting here around the uh, uh, front area and this little area here, this copper color that goes in there and the little blue that's at the tail fins. And I'll get those all sealed up. That way I can just basically attach them right onto the uh, 
pylons of the model and run the wiring up through there and start getting everything set up nice and tight. So I'll be back here in a little bit again with uh, further progress. We're about three or three or four hours in now. Here you go. Here's a look inside the warp nacelle after I've got it all assembled and the pylons put on it. I did a lot of uh, hot gluing in there. I've got all my bulbs mounted and my wiring run up through the pylons here. And what I did is, since I'm using all the same type of wire, I've got these all marked. So when I hook them up to the inside on the hull, they'll all tie in. Uh, that's for the LED tape to turn on the flux chill grills. Uh, the little lights that light up the registry highlighting and here we have the one for the beacon beacon at the tail so I've done that on both sides I'm just gonna glue the the uh, outer half of this on now and uh, let these dry overnight and come back tomorrow and uh, start again in the morning and I'll fill in all the seams on these and sand these out and finish the painting on the nacelles and the pylons and then uh, I'll put the top half of the hole down permanently and uh, It'll be all in one piece by tomorrow afternoon, so hopefully uh, after that I'll be able to uh, do my aztec decals and then come back and do my uh, mounting it on the base and getting everything else ready. So coming along pretty good. So anyway, there's one last look at the wiring inside here before I close it all up. Alright, here's a view of the bottom side of this thing too that I wanted to show you. And uh, Smooth Snow, you were right out there, buddy. The uh, color that I had on the bottom of this was too dark, so I went back and resprayed it just for you. So I hope you like that. And um, everything else is uh, pretty well sealed up on the bottom side here, ready for the Aztec decal. So that part's done as well. So tomorrow, like I said, I'll be going back and um, uh, sealing up the saucer. The warp nacelles are in progress right now, so. Uh, we should be able to get all that wrapped up tomorrow and get it mounted on the base. So we'll see you then.